Hello ladies, welcome back to my channel and happy February. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how we plan on executing Black History Month. So first off, I just want to say one more time, thank you so much for the 20,000 subscribers. I am just so thankful and so grateful for all 20,000 of you. I also want to ask if some of you could so graciously hop over on Instagram and follow us there. I'll put our Instagram right down here. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. So I'm currently at like 8,100 something. So literally if I could just get 2,000 of you guys to just click that follow button on Instagram, you guys would help me achieve one of my goals for this year. So I'll put it right here, follow us. We have a lot of fun. And, and what's cool about following me on Instagram is you get that daily insight into what it looks like to homeschool with us daily. Also, you get fun nuggets of books I'm reading, what I do in my alone time. It's just a fun place to be. So we would love if you followed us over there. Okay, now before I get into what I'm doing for Black History Month, I just wanna say, we study black history throughout the whole year. You guys know me, anytime I can weave in a black narrative story, I do. Black history is not just a subdivision of American history, it is American history. So I just wanna say that that is my standpoint, but I also love Black History Month because I love that it is a time where everyone is celebrating Black history in a time where more people are reading Black stories. And I just think that's powerful. So this February, I chose to actually only use three books to really dive into African American history. And our focus is on people, not necessarily movements or certain things. So I have three amazing books that we're gonna be using and I can't wait to show you. Another resource that we're gonna be using is Heritage Letter. So when Julie reached out to me, seeing if I was interested in working with them uh, for the month of February, I was ecstatic and I was like, absolutely. So Julie has sent me some letters from Heritage Letter and I will be speaking more about them and about that uh, as I go throughout this video. Also, you'll get to see an inside look of what the letter looks like and how we're going to be using it in our February day in the life. So be looking out for that later in the month. All right, so the first two books that we're going to be using this month to do our people study for Black History is, of course, you guys knew it was coming, The Little Leaders, Bold Women, and The Little Legends, Exceptional Men. And how I'm going to let the kids use these is every day, Journey is going to get to pick from The Little Women book, and Titus and Teo will get to pick a man from The Little Men book, and we, I will read them. It'll kind of be like our read aloud. I'll read about that person. We'll learn about that person. Um, and the kids will be writing in their journals a little fact about each person. So I'm excited for them to one, be able to choose who they want to learn about, two, to put in some writing practice in there, and three, I'm excited to see where this is going to go because I know when I read to my children, they just get ideas. And if I'm reading about Angela Davis, Journey will most likely be inspired and want to do something regarding Angela Davis. So um, I'm excited to see where that's going to go. But that's as simple as it's going to be, a studying one man, one woman every day and then writing at least one fact in their journal. Another book that I am so excited to be using, DK sent this to me um, earlier in the month of January, and it is the Timelines from Black History, Leaders, Legends, and Legacies. So this book focuses on world-changing stories of Black people with over 30 visual timelines this book will lead you on an exploration and celebration of key aspects of Black history. So what I like about this is it also even dives into ancient African kingdoms, which is so cool to me. So we're going to be using this more as a historical timeline. What I appreciate about this book is that it's not just focusing on 
black history regarding America, but black history regarding everywhere. Um, it's not just about the civil rights, but it's about old African kingdoms. It's about black history in Africa. Um, I like that it gives us a world view on black history and not just an American view. So I'm excited to dive into this and see what becomes of this. Again, I have no activities planned, but to read it and see uh, what inspires us. Again, that's the beauty of DK books is that you open it and all of a sudden you find yourself being inspired to do a project or inspired to look up something. So it'll be cool to see where this book leads us. I'm sure you guys will see some pretty fun activities in our February day in the life as well regarding this book. And lastly, I'm going to be using the heritage letters. We're going to be opening one once a week. We have four that Julie was so kind to send us. So I'm just going to open one up once a week. And again, we'll be learning about the person that's in the letter. So I want to show you an example of the letter. So you open your envelope and you have the letter and you have a portrait and an information card about the person. I really like that. And then you have something um, else that goes with that person. So we all know that George Washington Carver did amazing gardening work. We actually have a couple books about George Washington Carver from when we did our gardening unit study. Um, he is one of my favorite people when it comes to African-American history. Um, I, I really appreciate him and the simple life that he lived. So I'm going to let the kids open the letter. I'm going to let Journey read it. And even though they already know about George Washington Carver, I'm excited for them to use this. Also from all the other letters we open up, I want to hang the information cards around the room and maybe even do a little test or quiz on the specific people that we read from the heritage letter. So that's what we plan on doing for Black History Month, really diving in to different people and their stories and their legacies. I also wanted to share some books that I'm going to be reading this month as a mother, just to educate myself on Black history and to learn more and to sharpen my brain regarding the topic. So I have a couple books that I'm going to be reading. They're not all a specific black history, but they are all written by an African American person. So I'm really trying to like make my, even my reading list, a reading list that's inspired by African American narratives. So, so I thought that would be fun to share with you guys. All right. So the first book on mama's reading list is More Than Enough by Elaine Welter Roth. So she was Teen Vogue's first African American editor. And I started this last year, but didn't get to finish it. So I'm excited to dive into this one um, this month. All the books will be listed below, of course. For the Womanhood membership, we read one book every month together. And our book for this month is The World According to Fannie Davis. This is, <laughs> this is about a mother who ran a number, who ran numbers um, out of her house in Detroit in the 60s. So very risky business. Um, but Fannie Davis was a woman of luck. And it's really, I've, I'm on page 50 of this. And her story is speaking to me and inspiring to me. And one thing that is sticking out is everyone um, in her life said that she was so lucky in life because she always was giving. Like, it, she, it had, she had no choice but to be lucky because she was constantly giving to everyone around her. So it's written by her daughter and it's, it's a really cool read. And I'm really enjoying the settings being in the sixties in Detroit. So this is on my list. I'll link that below in case any of you mamas are interested. My next book in my February mama stack is Black, White, and the Gray, The Story of an Unexpected Friendship and a Beloved Restaurant. So, so this is a book about two unexpected uh, friends who ended up going into business. And they actually have a business called The Gray. It's a restaurant in Savannah, Georgia. And they, um, they, it's called The Gray. And their hope was to create a restaurant that, um, inspired people to have conversations, inspired people to see that not everything is black and white, but it's 
It's great. I'm excited to read this book and I might need to plan another trip to Savannah soon so I can go eat um, at the Gray restaurant because I'm sure it's going to make me want to do exactly that. I also think the timing for this book is good because we're in a crazy place in our nation where it's like people do think it's black and white and we try to pick a side because we're so close-minded into thinking things are just black and white and it's not and there is room for conversation and we should be conversating no matter how hard it is you know sometimes we have to look at ourselves and see that we're just self-righteous idiots who think we know everything and we don't so we need to be open-minded and I know that's hard to hear and it's it's even harder to do um but I think that this book is gonna speak to me in that way and then another book I plan on, of course, not reading the whole thing, but you guys know I love this book. I keep it close. It's on my bookshelf. Um, and I just like it because at any time that I'm needing inspiration, I can open it up and read a story. And I tell everyone that they should own this, The African American Experience, Black History, Black History and Culture Through Speeches, Letters, Editorials, Poems, Songs, and Stories. I really love this book. Um, I've dog-eared a couple pages. Um, it's just, again, it's not something you have to read front to back. You can literally just read one speech by someone and have that speech be in your mind for the rest of the day and be in your thoughts and inspiring you and challenging you. So I'm excited to pick this one back up. All right, guys, so that is my Black History game plan for the kids and for myself. Let me know what books you're reading in the month of February. Let me know how you are bringing Black History into your homeschool because you should be. And all the books that I mentioned will be linked below if you're feeling inspired to get your hands on some of them. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Click that subscribe button if you haven't. Give this video a big thumbs up. Tell all your friends about us and we will be back again with another video soon. Bye, mamas.